All right, it's Friday, August 30th at 11.30 a.m. This is update number two on Hurricane Dorian. And the latest news is not good. The hurricane has strengthened. It's gotten much bigger, much stronger, with a lot more potential to be that storm that none of us wants it to become. Again, before I go underway, ad revenue from these videos will go towards hurricane relief. So if you guys can take a second, like this video and comment, sending all the affected areas some love, some thoughts and prayers. It's much appreciated and it actually makes a difference. Depending on what happens, we also might set up a hurricane relief fund like we did for Irma. But as for this morning's update, the entire state of Florida is now under emergency. There's over 17 million people that are facing evacuation warnings. Uh, I don't know if this has ever happened before, but it's pretty shocking for the entire state of Florida, all what 60 something counties to be under state of emergency is pretty big news. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty still about where exactly this storm is gonna end up going. And it does have the potential to impact any county in Florida, all 67 potentially could be affected. So I've declared a state of emergency for the entire state, all 67 counties. And then yesterday we submitted a, a request to the president uh, for a pre-landfall declaration for federal assistance for all 67 counties. Today, all the local counties are gonna be looking to determine whether they should issue evacuation orders. Um, and our message here from, from, from the state government is basically, you know, listen to the folks that are in charge locally because they're gonna assess these conditions. They're monitoring the storm. If you live in an evacuation zone and they tell you to evacuate, heed those orders. Obviously, you still have some time to prepare because the storm has slowed down. Um, so if you haven't made the preparations, please do so now. Um, we're also sensitive to, you know, the need for water and fuel and we're making accommodations to be able to get more that down there now a lot of people call hurricanes over exaggerated and a way to sell gas and water etc and i understand and to be honest i might have believed that a little bit to an extent but as the years have gone by and as i've seen what these storms can do firsthand you really have to take it serious you just have to the devastation we've seen in the last two years where literally entire towns were swept off the map i stopped taking these storms lightly hurricane irma caused damage across the entire state of florida i was a hundred miles away from where the eye of that hurricane hit and my entire town still got pretty ripped up uh now please i'm gonna advise that if you live between miami and brevard county or even further up the coast or even further south be prepared be ready to evacuate and head inland a bit we are facing a king tide what that means is it's one of the highest tides of the entire year typically during king tides there's already flood warnings and if there's a hurricane hitting during a king tide it's not going to be good for any of the places that are in flood zones that are below sea level. Also, another thing to consider is that you could get 20 inches of rain in some areas, and that is serious flooding as well. So just be prepared for that. Keep that in mind. Uh, find a good strong building to take cover. Best bet as of right now is probably to go to the middle of the state to take cover, uh, just in case this thing takes a path that it says it's gonna take. The whole East Coast should definitely be ready. If this hurricane hits Florida as a category four, it's not gonna be pretty for the areas it hits directly. Unfortunately, if it is a category four and it makes direct landfall, we can assume there will be a loss of life, destroyed homes. It would be pretty close to the worst case scenario. Now to me, for what I'm seeing, the craziest and some would say the scariest part about this storm is, and all storms, is that it's very unpredictable. There's a lot more factors than there normally is. We have another low pressure system that's pulling it towards the Gulf and there's another sheer north. So this thing could really go wherever it wants. Some of the models show it hitting Miami and going into the Gulf of Mexico, up past Tampa and Clearwater where I live, and ending up in the Panhandle in North Florida. Some models show it scraping straight up the East Coast and going all the way to Jacksonville with sustained winds of 100 plus miles an hour. So literally the entire East Coast of Florida could be facing 100 plus mile an hour winds. It is still too early to tell where evacuation is gonna be needed. As of right now, if you live on the East Coast, I would say just stay on your toes. We still have three days before this thing makes landfall. It's believed to make landfall sometime on Monday. So Sunday will be a really big update for the entire state of Florida. A very important update. I'm just trying to give you guys info on what it's doing right now. We're gonna do a deep look at everything right now and kind of just discuss what we're currently seeing because I always like to do that. Take you guys through the models with me, see if anything has changed while filming this. You know, I'll just take you guys kind of through my strategy. So first, straight off the bat, NHC, National Hurricane Center. This is exactly where you want to go right off the bat. Uh, 11 a.m. update, 110 mile an hour sustained winds. That makes it one mile an hour away from a Category 3. So we can safely assume that probably by the time you're watching this, it is a Category 3 hurricane. We're going to click in here. 
All right, so probabilities of tropical storm force winds. So yesterday I had 50 to 60% chance. Now we're looking at 70 to 80 with some parts of Florida reaching 90 to 100% chance of tropical storm force winds. I mean, look at that cone. It's uh, all right, let's see estimated time of arrival. Earliest reasonable arrival time, tropical storm force winds. So this is not the eye of the storm. These are tropical storm force winds. As early as Sunday, we are going to be seeing tropical storm force winds. So be ready for that. Yeah, Monday morning, Florida is going to be seeing some serious winds. And then it's only going to get worse and crazier into Tuesday. Wow, that this track does not look good. It just shows it slamming into Florida and going straight up the middle of the state, which means both the East Coast, West Coast and Central Florida, Florida will be affected by this storm. That's pretty crazy. Wind history so far. There's another cyclone map. Uh, we're going to go to windy.com just because I feel like everyone likes seeing what Windy's read is. That's where the storm currently is. We're going to go into Saturday at 8 a.m. Heads towards Marsh Harbor. Kind of dips south a little bit and heads straight west into Sunday. Marsh Harbor, as it shows here, is going to get the worst of it. So here we go. Monday at 8 a.m. If you're going to evacuate, do it on Sunday. Do not wait till Monday, because if we go to 11 a.m. on Monday, Florida will be getting smoked. 2 p.m., 5 p.m., 8 p.m., it really slows down, which is very concerning, because as we're seeing right here, you could be seeing 20 to 24 hours of hur constant hurricane force winds. 140 mile an hour gust plus maybe 160 it's still too early to tell but oh that is a very very scary track for it to just pull straight up the east coast like that is not a f not a good scenario we're gonna go to spaghettimodels.com <clears throat> mike's weather page He's definitely like the go-to guy for stuff like this. We'll look at some spaghetti models really quick. See, look, some of these going into the Gulf, some of these going up Central Florida, some of these going up the East Coast, some, one of them completely staying away from this state entirely. It's kind of like a split. We got half going into the Gulf, straight over my house, half going up the East Coast. Let's see what these ones say. Wow. GEFS track shows its center line going so <laughs> going straight over my house into the Gulf up to the Panhandle and this is what this is exactly what I was saying is it's so unpredictable because half the models are going up the East Coast half the models are going into the Gulf but no matter what they're not far off they really aren't far off we're gonna go look at the Euro Gonna watch, look at the H Wharf on Dorian. All right. Cruising along, hits Marsh Harbor in the Bahamas. Smacks Florida, oh my gosh. Direct hit, cruises into the middle of the state, heads up north, that's all we got. So this is another model that's showing it going up the central state of Florida. And it, it's not a favorable outcome. Oh yeah, um, just stay on your toes. It's still too early to tell, but there is no good news. I'm gonna wrap this up by saying just keep your eyes open. Tomorrow's update is gonna be very important. Sunday's update is going to be crucial. I'm gonna advise everyone on the East Coast to just be prepared for the worst because this has been the warmest year on recent record for heat in the on the entire planet and uh, if you didn't know hurricanes love warm water love warm weather and it's just like perfect conditions for one of the worst storms we've ever seen in recorded history that is a scenario that unfortunately is entirely possible to play out whether it's this storm whether it's the next storm <sighs> you guys just got to be ready and if you look right here there's two more storms behind it. Well, let's just not talk about that for right now. 
That's it. That's uh, all the info. That's all the models. You guys have a pretty good idea. Florida is going to face a serious storm. That is a guarantee at this point. So everyone just stay safe. Everyone be prepared. I'm going to post another update tomorrow, probably later in the day, because the later update is going to be more important than the earlier update. I mean, again, I'm going to play it by ear, but thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to be right in the thick of this storm. That's a guarantee. So stay tuned. I don't know. Send Florida some love. Oh, I'm going to... Whoa. I'm going through, boys. Come on, guys. Ugh. How's the house? Well, the water got close, washed over a little bit, it looks like. A couple banana trees down. Still boarded up. That's good. Windows. Uh, Turner's room's good. Whoa. This door got blown open. That's not good. Yes! <laughs> House is good! Oh, thank you. Star Wars set still there. Ha! Ha ha! Oh, it's a good feeling to know that your house is still okay. Damn, this thing got broken! <laughs>